I'm going to read you your new Bible story for this week. This story is a continuation of the story on Nehemiah, and it's called Nehemiah Stands Firm. Nehemiah continued to direct the workers in rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Sanballat and Tobiah came back again to make fun of Nehemiah and the workers. When the entire wall was joined together up to half its height, Sanballat, Tobiah, and other enemy leaders became very angry. They believed that if Jerusalem was rebuilt, it would threaten the importance of their own cities. So they planned to attack Jerusalem and kill the people. Nehemiah prayed to God for strength and protection. He encouraged the Israelites by saying, Don't be afraid of them. Remember God. He is great and awesome. Fight for your brothers, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your houses. From then on, each person worked with one hand and held a weapon, spear, shields, or bows and arrows in their other. They slept in the city at night, taking turns guarding the city. Not only did Nehemiah stand firm in his decision to rebuild the walls and to see that it was finished, but he also dealt with unfair treatment by others. He called together the nobles and leaders of the Israelites who had been taking advantage of their own people. He directed the leaders to return the land, olive groves, and houses that they had taken from the people, and he ordered them to repay some of the money, food, and drink. This would allow everyone to have what they needed so they could complete the work on the wall. As an example to others, Nehemiah lived simply, not building up great wealth for himself. By this time, the wall was almost finished. Sanballat came back again with Tobiah and others to try to stop Nehemiah. They asked Nehemiah to leave Jerusalem to meet with him. Nehemiah refused, knowing that his enemies meant to do him no, I mean, meant to do him harm. <laughs> but that didn't stop. I San don't know. <clears throat> that didn't stop Sanballat. He kept insisting that Nehemiah uh, come, but Nehemiah kept saying no. After the fifth time, Sanballat sent Nehemiah a letter by special delivery. Almost <laughs> everything Sanballat had written in the letter was a lie about Nehemiah. During all this time, Nehemiah continued to pray and ask God to strengthen the Israelites so that they could stand against their enemies. Sanballat and Tobiah then hired a man to try to trick Nehemiah. The man told Nehemiah, I've heard that some men are coming at night to kill you. Let's go hide in the temple. Nehemiah answered boldly, do what you think. No, do you think I would run away from the enemy? No, I will not go there. If Nehemiah had listened to the man and hidden, his enemies would have called Nehemiah a coward. Then they would have tried to convince his, the people to stop working on the wall. The wall was quickly being built. Nehemiah was glad he had stood firm and trusted in God's protection. He was glad he had stood against Sanballat and the rest of the crowd of enemies. He gave God all the praise and thanks because God had helped the Israelites and Nehemiah to finish the task. Amazingly, after 52 days of working from morning until evening, the wall was completed. Jerusalem was once again a protected city. 
Even the people who lived outside the city realized that God helped the Israelites complete the task. Nehemiah and the Israelites thanked and worshipped God. They celebrated with a special feast and made a new covenant with God. Hopefully you liked the story um, starring Luna.